Hey, this is Pete's Dude Man, and uh, back where I was, uh, it turned out the autosave was right at the start of this battle, so I just did the battle again, uh, only I used a lot more ammo this time, so, uh, hmm. Oh, look, here's some ammo over here. Good. Let's salvage some parts. Oh, got credits. Uh, let's reload. I wish I had more ammo. Guys, get on my way. Okay. Oh, they're teaching us a little bit about uh, controlling your squad, which is much... Much better in this game than it was in the previous Mass Effect game. It's actually useful in this game. Okay, Miranda, you go there. Jacob, you go there. And now I will hike. Okay, wait. Okay, guys, I just started to explain how this was way better. Miranda, you go here. Jacob, you go here. Good. And now I'll take cover. Thanks, Tolly. Uh-oh. We better save those quarians. Yeah, we'll save the quart. We're gonna go save the quart? Okay. We're just gonna stand here and watch the quart die. That sounds good. Oh. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Yeah, that is going to be tough. Um, let's see here, though. Let's get out the good old sniper rifle, and then we will put the armor-piercing ammo on it, and uh, that will hopefully help take out the mech. Oh, and Miranda's dead. <sighs> Bam! That was a good hit. Okay. Um, it's over there. And Bam! Bam! It's coming for me! Bam! Oh, that did barely anything. Bam! Oh, I missed. How did I miss? Do you see how big this thing is? How did I miss? Okay. And boop! I am invisible. Oh, ho. And my entire squad is dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Unity. Oh, I can't use Unity because I just used the other thing. Shit. Okay. Uh oh. Ow! Okay, can I use Unity yet? Yes, I can. Ha! Bam! Bam! Okay, back me up here, guys. Bam! Yes! Okay, oh god! Oh, I forgot it would explode. Phew! No. That fight actually was a lot easier than usual because I had this uh, armor piercing ammo, which I sh should not have. Uh, but hey, I'm not complaining. This is going to be a uh, much easier run of Mass Effect 2 than I thought, which is fine with me. Okay. Tali! Uh, oh. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loathing bay. Thank you, Tali. I can always count on you. Um, objective is this way. Aha! Over here! Aha! Oh, in here. Okay! Um, you okay, buddy? Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Hide. Have to hide. Oh, yeah, that's one of the new things, too. A Paragon interrupt. There's also Renegade interrupts. You just do an action that interrupts someone's dialogue. didn't find us the, the monsters the swarms they took everyone why didn't the colonists fight back Vitor what happened you don't know you didn't see but I see everything okay show us whoa we got swarms like security footage the bugs to piece it together manually what the hell is that my god I think it's a collector I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. 
they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Okay, so we have some sort of ultimate race that's working with the Reapers? No one that's hide. bad. The Seekers find you, free you, then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark Oh, energy. wow. That's we really helpful. To the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll what happens that sounds dangerous what are you doing i don't think cerberus needs to hear about it but it's in gap space that should tell you how important it is he's traumatized and he needs medical care tally will give us the omni tool data and take him to the flotilla understood commander Thank all you. right well i'm glad you're still the one giving the orders good luck out there if i find anything that can help you i'll let you know we can trust Tali. Tali's our friend. And it looks like we got a pretty good mountain load of information here. A lot of stuff that we needed to know. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Corians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data. But it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. Well, that's but your you fault. You confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic. I guess that's a good reason to suspect them in the first place. Systems, ...looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Oh, well, that's not good. That the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. Well, yeah, we know Sovereign's not the Reapers it. Are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging. So I'm going to build a team of, like, the greatest warriors of the galaxy? That's amazing! I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. 
That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Oh, huh. Interesting. What about... Where's Garrus Vakari? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. That's impressive. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clan. Wow, really? That's awesome. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Oh, that's surprising. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Well, it's certainly worth a shot. You've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collective. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First... Head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. All right. Science. Scientist and a pilot. A pilot I can trust. You sure? <gasps> it's my favorite pilot. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. True, true. You can't expect Joker to not fly a ship. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got our new Normandy. Awesome. Wow. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Alright. Okay. Normandy. Woohoo! We've got our old ship back, only it's like way bigger. Which is awesome! We've got at least Joker back, so, uh, sweet. So, yeah, haven't had a lot of time just to talk about stuff. Uh, this game has a lot of changes now. You've seen some of the gameplay changes already. You know, melee attacks and vaulting and better sneaking around and, uh, boy, uh, uh, ammo, stuff like that. Um... Boy, the, the, the big thing that changes is how the morality works, the Paragon and, and Renegade points. It's actually very much more sensitive in this game. And I talked about it in the last few episodes when I was doing ME1, I believed. I mean, it's been a long time since I've recorded that, so I don't exactly remember everything I've said, but basically it's all based on percentage of the Paragon Renegade points you get. Fortunately for us, we start out with 190% of the possible points because of the import from any one and I didn't even realize it get imports from any two if you've beaten the game before so we have a lot of bonuses from both an any one import and an me2 um, completion bonus including bonus skills man this is gonna be awesome and we got Jacob Miranda and uh, Joker it's uh it's pretty human in here like to get some of those aliens get some alien friends 
get rid of these scars on my face. Um, this is a nice ship. Yep. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Thank you. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. Okay. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Just like last time. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Oh, we got an AI. You'd like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's system. Well, good, because there's no way you could do it better than Joker. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the Well, uh, that whole intro sequence was much easier than Emmy one's going through the Citadel. This was really Please fast. If you have any questions. And that's one thing I like about this. This game is a lot faster paced and a lot more interesting. Uh, this is just all around, I think, a much better game than Mass Effect 1 by far. It's just going to be, bam, do this, bam, do that. Um, the mining does take a while, but I don't know. With all the bonus uh, stuff we've gotten, we probably won't have to do as much mining. Because, I mean, you get a small bonus for the ME1 imports, but uh, the ME2 bonus looked uh, pretty large. If that's the case, then that sure is nice. Uh, any case, we're just about out of time on uh, this episode here. So once they're done giving us this virtual tour, we'll get a real tour of the Normandy and uh, do some other upgrades as well on the next episode of Mass Effect Trilogy. Are we good? Is that everything? All right, that's everything.